It's another video from Aussie's Robot. But you got a banana collection. Oh, hey, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back, my friends. It's your favorite toy guy here with the toys that never end. The finest, the rarest, the coolest on the Internet. Bar none, as I always say. And I'm glad you're joining me because this is a toy that I probably made uh, two, three videos on at this point. This is not the same toy because today we're going to talk about incrementalism. And uh, what's the other um, what's the other word I'm searching for besides incrementalism? Well, listen, before we get into that, as always, uh, kick back, my friends. Grab a cup of coffee if it's morning. You know, let's rub the Sandman out of our eyes. Get a little caffeine in your system, stir it, clank it, put a little uh, sugar and uh, milk or something in there, creamer, vanilla creamer. Grab your breakfast burrito or a Slim Jim or some jerky or some biltong from Texas. I'm uh, stuck with this Callaway Blue Spring Water. You know what? At least the bottle isn't a pile of crap because it doesn't collapse in my hand. You know, my pet peeve. And we're going to look about, uh, look about, <laughs> look at this, probably the finest example of a tremendous mic robot that I have seen, that I have in my possession. And this is, again, a story of incrementalism, improving, stepping up, um, your your collection, right? When you get into psychotic territory, when you want the best of the best, and I guess the word I was searching for is upgrade, constantly upgrading, upgrading, upgrading is the name of the game. So as I mentioned before, I've shown the tremendous mic, but I had the opportunity not only to upgrade the toy, but this box, and let me tell you something, the the uh, combination, the box and the toy are absolutely pristine. Like I said, I have not seen one. Let me look at this from top to bottom. Look at this. This is an untouched, unmarred, unmolested original box. The colors you see, these vibrant, beautiful colors. One of my favorite, absolutely favorite, I think one of the top... 10 robot boxes, vintage 10 toy robot boxes of all time with a beautiful rocket ship. That's it, look at that, a tiny crease there. That's it. These beautiful, vibrant colors are all original. You know, you're talking like, what, 65 to 70 years old. Here is your end flap. You got a couple of streaks there from God knows what. You have your ITO, and it's also a ASC, which is like the same thing they use on the robot war boat. Here is your side panel. Look at the gloss on this box. It's not just, it's square, it's unripped. No streaks here. You have the gloss, the look, look at the light bouncing off, giving you that beautiful shine. No reproduction, no paint touch up. Then inside you have the awesome original insert with the cutout that's shaped like the tremendous mic head, right? All intact. It's a little bit of bowing, bowing on the bottom. I'll show you the tag. There's a tag from the auction company in there. Again, no rips, square. So I said, you know what? I'm going to step up because like I have said a zillion times before, in the collecting world, in the um, quest, the desire to build like a world-class collection, you know, you get to the point where you do have an item and then you want to make it world-class. You have to step up to upgrade, which means you just buy another one that you feel is an improvement. And in this case, uh, even though I have a very clean, very, very clean silver one, I should have bought it for comparison, but, you know, I'm not uh, 
And I have now, I don't know, three original boxes, four original boxes for this uh, trim. This mic. I got to dig them out. I mean, I know people are going to want to buy them. So they'll, they'll, uh, they'll be uh, released soon into the wild. But I just didn't have one this freaking spotless. And let's look at the toy. There's something about this design. Every robot, not like myself, absolutely adores. And look at this original antenna. This is by far the nicest original antenna that I've ever seen. This is not a reproduction. It has its gloss on the rim. The crimping is spectacular. The red on the shaft is excellent. Look at this. The, the gloss is unreal. Look at down here. I mean, absolutely shiny. The wheels have the most minimal wear possible. The chrome, the bright work is shiny. I mean, this thing is absolutely stunning. Stunning box. Stunning everything. Everything about this is just absolutely superb. And let's go on the other side to show you. So that's, again, when you, uh, you know, especially in my case, we have a public display here. We want to show the best of the best. You step up to the plate and you say, you know what? Whatever the price is, I'm going to dig deep and I'm going to improve my 9.0 tremendous mic to a 9.5, 9.7, 9.0. You know, until you get to the 9.9 .9 to 9.10, because though, I mean, 9.10 to 10.0, because that's when you've really um, achieved a nirvana in the collecting <laughs> sphere, you know, and really that's what it comes down to. And to me, toys like these are exceptionally special because, you know, there's toys, right? And then there's like the 9.5 and above. These are the toys that get into friggin' Harvard before Harvard was woke and stupid. You know, these are like the creme de la creme, you know, the the 5.0 weighted GPAs, <laughs> you know, with all their, uh, what, what do they call those advanced classes? I forgot, man, I haven't applied to college in uh, eons. I guess with all their AP courses, you know. So uh, anyway, without further ado, I'm going to give it a little wind up. Because like I said, I have multiple videos on these. I have the orange one. I have other silver. And by the way, you have the stop go. So I have it on stop. Maybe the flint still works too. One more and we'll put it on go. Now watch, with my luck, it won't even work. But there we go. Oh, look at any antenna. What? He has turning action. The only thing is, is he's sparking. Oh my God, it's so shiny. You don't have a lot of wind-up toys that have that like turn and go action as indicated on the box. But you know what? I want to look at the chest. I'm going to have to unwind it a little bit. And... Sparkling screen. I see the turning. Any spark? Or is it just the turning that, the turning screen that makes the illumination? Hmm. I'm gonna wind it one more time just for the hell of it. set it back here just because i enjoy watching this because then once i put it in the case this will never see the light of day <laughs> out of the case maybe it will there's the antenna come on come on come on get along little doggy And by the way, this lever here, it acts as the directional change, if I'm not mistaken. Stop it one more time. Whoop, sorry, shaking the camera here. Don't hit my beautiful box.
<laughs> you know what? I will call it a day because we're into 10 minutes. And you know what? He worked. He did everything he was supposed to do. And uh, that is the end of the story of stepping up, upgrading for that incremental improvement in quality and... Um, I'll go put this in the case. I'm going to look at my other one. And uh, chances are that the other one is nowhere near as nice. It'll be very nice, but not to this degree. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you think that it's worth to step up and get the best of the best. I feel that it is. I think that like when you're building a collection, the ultimate goal is not to just acquire a piece, but to acquire the best of the best when it's possible and you have the resources to do so. But you may not agree. So let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this, if you like Tremendous Mike, let me know in the comments. With that, as always, I appreciate your time. And that, my friends, concludes the video. Now I'll talk to you. Yeah.